the motor part of the hydrostatic transmission, the bottom one on the BX24, rides on that angled plate down there. You can see it. And it's toothed to this shaft so that when it, it turns, it turns your wheels and your uh, differential, all that good stuff. Now, the the pump part of your hydrostatic transmission is also toothed, and it has seven pistons that are spring-loaded as well. It rides on the top and against this plate here that you can by turning by pushing the pedal forward or reverse it angles the plate right now the plate is angled up I believe that's in forward position neutral it would be parallel so that none of the pistons would de be depressed but as this the piston assembly is toothed to the shaft which is continuously linked to the motor and is always in motion. So these are turning, continually turning. And depending on the angle of your swash plate, it's either in forward or reverse or neutral. If it's in forward, it's angled in one direction and some of the pistons are depressed and either the top ones are depressed or the bottom ones are depressed and they will push oil out of these slots depending on forward or reverse I'm not sure which way it will pump into this valve plate assembly now it's always turning the same direction but depending on the angle, if the swash plate is angled to the top, the pistons will pump oil in these slots and draw oil, draw it back into the pistons through these slots. Now if the, if the swash plate is turned to the, the other direction so that the bottom pistons are being depressed, it will pump oil into these and draw oil into these. And it pumps it up above like 3200 psi, sends it to your motor portion of your hydrostatic transmission, and converts the high pressure hydraulic fluid into motion. So that is how the hydrostatic transmission works. Um, this swash plate. Depending on the angle of the swash plate, if it's angled up, angled this direction, it depresses the top pistons. I'm going to say that's forward, I'm not sure, but I'm going to say it's forward. And it pushes oil at a high pressure to the motor portion of the, the piston assembly, motor piston assembly of the hydrostatic transmission. If the hydrostatic plate is tilted the opposite way the bottom pistons are depressed as the, the piston assembly continually turns with the motor and the bottom pistons will push oil in the opposite direction which causes the motor portion piston assembly to turn the opposite way if the swash plate is parallel with the pistons none of the pistons are depressed as it's continually turning with the motor so you have no oil being pumped and no motion so anyway that's the way the hydrostatic transmission works if you like this video please subscribe and like thanks